But we begin this afternoon with deja vu for commuters who depend on New Jersey transit trains. Right now, trains into and out of Penn Station are suspended because of power issues. This is a current look at the situation. We're going to get to that in a moment. It's the start of yet another nightmare commute home for many. And on a day when it's so hot outside, being stuck on a train with no air conditioning is making the situation so much worse. Eyewitness News reporter Janice Yu is live at Penn Station with the very latest. Janice? Sade and Bill, I mean, this is an absolute mess here inside Penn Station right now. And for many, this is just Groundhog Day. This is certainly not the first time, even this week, that some NJ Transit riders have had to deal with these extensive delays. In fact, look at this board right now. I mean, right now you can only see one thing that says it's canceled. Uh, there's the delay right there. And in the scrolling here for Summit at Hoboken, it says that this train is being diverted. So no uh, sense of when things will be back up, but Amtrak says this is all because of power loss due to a malfunctioning circuit breaker. So this outage is between Penn Station and Newark, and it's impacting trains between Philadelphia 30th Street and the New Haven Station. So again, uh, until further notice, all trains are suspended. And of course, not only are trains not coming in and out of Penn, there are trains that are currently stuck on the tracks. A woman who is stuck on one train says it's hot right now. There's no AC, of course, and no restrooms. And she says they're simply stranded until they start moving or another train is able to come and rescue the people who are on the train that she's on. And I mean, look around. This is people have been waiting. Um, some of them, even if they've just arrived, they're they're not sure how long they're going to be waiting here. They say that they're not getting proper communication from NJ Transit or Amtrak as to when things will uh, start moving. We talked to one rider who says, I mean, he is fed up. He takes NJ Transit four days a week, and he says this happens far too often. I think that this is terrible. New Jersey Transit has to do a better job at trying to you know, prevent situations like this from happening. And the reality of the situation is, is, is that they want to charge more money and the service is not where it really needs to be at. You can look around and tell that there needs to be a better job of, you know, how we are servicing our communities. Dominic, the man you just heard from there, he takes NJ Transit four days a week again, and he says he deals with this so often, so much of his time uh, when he should be home is wasted waiting here, waiting for the trains that have been delayed. So uh, we're going to keep an eye on this and hopefully get some updates as to when things will start moving again. I'll send it back to you guys live at Penn Station, Janus U Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Okay,